Hey guys and welcome to Warzer Scale. So something really miraculous happened. I got my rankings in two or three hours, I think, yesterday when I posted a bunch of content and then I ended up on the first page of Google. This was published uh, around 23 hours ago and indexed 20 hours ago. Uh, this one is um, indexed 22 hours ago and published 24 hours ago because I published in bulk. And this one ended up uh, on the first page of Google, again 22 hours ago ranked and around 24 hours ago published. And uh, finally my main website, which is trickmino.ai, has uh, made a record, so I averaged almost 900 clicks per day. And this is all due to the uh, keyword strategy that I'm about to show you. And I honestly think that for the newer websites, this is by far the best keyword research strategy that you can ever use. And I need to acknowledge the sources. So the first one, and this strategy is called SEO Avalanche Strategy. The first source is the Fat Rank uh, article, which is very in-depth. But the second one, which I think is even more important, is uh, the um, interview with Kyle Roof. So the YouTube uh, channel is Forte Growth Podcast. The episode is called The Helpful Constant Update on No Talk About No Talk About EEAT because Kyle Roof is known for talking about EEAT. And around the 30 minute mark, Kyle starts talking about the Avalanche strategy. And he suggests a few very important things that I think 99% of uh, SEO miss. But before I proceed further, let's just uh, study up on the Avalanche strategy real quick. So Avalanche strategy has to do with natural tiers. So the idea is that if you have a newer website and the way to decide which level you belong to is to go look at your clicks analytics and take an average. So for me, if we take the three month average, which is what is suggested, the lowest clicks I ever got was 130. The highest clicks is around 900. So I would say around 500 is my natural tier. So that would put me uh, at level 200. And that would mean that I should only target keywords with a monthly volume of between 200 and 500. So this is where the notion of natural tiers uh, came from. And the idea is that again, uh, Google likes to place you in different tiers. If you If you're trying to go outside of your tier, you either need to have a power boost so this could be a backlink or a digital PR publication or something else. And oftentimes, if you see huge downward spirals after a Google update, this is just Google placing you back to a natural tier. But then uh, this strategy saw some new advancements. So then it talked about uh, using the keyword golden ratio. This was developed and suggested first by Doug Kennington. But then what I learned from Kai Roof is that he also applies another filter, which is KD. And he just explains the whole thing in very easy to understand terms. And I almost wrote it down. So the SEO online strategy at uh, these developments, he started with tiers and tiers only. Then Chris Carter updated his strategy with KGR, which is uh, developed by Doug Kennington. And finally, Kyle Roof is uh, talking about KD and some popular mistakes people make. So the first mistake would be not to respect your natural tier and monthly volume. And the second uh, mistake would be to use KGR, but not look at the uh, KD. So Kyle Roof has the following steps to, for you to follow. First, you find your natural tier. And once again, you take the three month average from your Google Search Console. And if you have no traffic, you just assume that you're level zero, which means you will be targeting zero volume uh, keywords. Then you filter once you found your natural tier, you filter everything by volume. Then what you do, you go to tools like Ritrazen or Rank Atom, and you filter everything by KGR. And then you select only those uh, keywords uh, that are with low KD. So in practice, you would need a keyword tool that uh, does some sort of uh, keyword difficulty calculation. You don't have to do hrefs, uh, and uh, even if you want to do hrefs, you can. You can order a custom report on Fiverr for seven bucks. You can use uh, SEMrush for free. They have a trial. You can use SE Ranking, which is a pretty affordable tool that has the KD as well, and many other tools. Be mindful of the fact that many keyword tools are on a cheaper site will tell you that they have keyword difficulty. 
like Keywords Everywhere, for example, or the free Google Keyword Planner, but that's not an organic KD. That's a KD for uh, paid search only. So this is not what we're looking for. Nevertheless, you would go to uh, a tool like Ahrefs, type in a seed keywords like uh, meaning name. This is a pretty good niche, very low competition. So you have a lot of keywords, almost 400,000 keywords. Then you would filter it by KD. For the newer sites, I would suggest to go uh, as high as uh, KD1 then show results. And then you would also only choose the keywords uh, volume 10 and below. And that would leave you with 543 keywords. You can export the list like so. And then you would go to a tool like Rank Atom. You can import your keywords. I have already done that. This is spiritual meaning with KD of zero and one. And then you would just filter those by weak spots, for example. And then you would just go uh, filter by KGR. You can export the list. And these are all the keywords that are both low KGR and low KD and, and have weak spots in them. So this is a golden list. All these keywords, once again, are KD1 and below, have high KGR and are considered weak spots. Then you would just export this list here and publish and you can bulk publish everything if you have a brand new domain if you don't have a brand new domain you just drip feed it like maybe five posts a day 10 posts a day maximum and then you just rip your words the results speak for themselves i'm using this strategy a lot especially for the past two three months i would say uh, once again you don't have to use any of the pay tools you can use free trial of SEM rush you can use sce ranking which has a free trial as well uh, you can use uh, KGR calculators, which are on the manual side, but still you can do it. Or you can uh, purchase Rank Atom, which is an LTD on AppSumo or Writer Zen that also does uh, KGR calculations. And yeah, and this is how you can get rankings like in 24 hours or at least uh, boost your traffic when you have a new domain. Hope this video was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.